Authorize.net is a payment gateway and it's a payment service provider. And in this video, we're gonna look at what it is, uh, some common features, how to use it. We'll touch on pricing, frequently asked questions, and then a quick analysis on why Authorize.net is such a popular choice when it comes to payment gateways. Coming up. So Authorize.net's been around a long time, since 1996. It serves about 450,000 clients or active accounts, according to their website. And before we get into the, the features and functionality, it's important to note that there's different ways to use it. And a lot of people refer to Authorize.net as getting an account, getting an Authorize.net account to process payments. And while that's true, it's only partially true because Authorize.net originally originated as a payment gateway only. And now it also offers some features that allows it to be a payment service provider, much like PayPal, Stripe, Square, and, and many of the other aggregator payment solutions that are out on the market nowadays. So there's a difference in how you use it. And that's kind of a fundamental difference because if you use Authorize.net as a gateway only, it means that you can plug in a merchant account of your own choice, a merchant account provider of your own choice, and you can choose that and use Authorize.net as the gateway only solution. Whereas if you use their all-in-one solution, if you contact them directly, for example, they'll set you up with their payment solution and you'll get their uh, payment gateway services and some of their other features, but they'll also be processing the payment. So in that regard, they've partnered up with a processor to provide that all-in-one solution. If you haven't seen the What is a Payment Gateway video that I have posted on my channel, I'll link it up in the description and on the screen here. And that just draws a further distinction, a lot more detail of the difference between a pay payment gateway and a merchant account. And then there's also other videos on payment service providers compared to merchant accounts. Both of those will be linked in the uh, description. All right, so we've established that Authorize.net is a payment gateway and it has a, a payment solution attached to it. So some of the features as listed right on the, uh, the website is their, their standard features is that you're gonna get a virtual terminal, you're gonna get digital invoicing, e-check, uh, digital wallet compatibility, simple checkouts with, with little simple uh, uh, checkout links. There's a mobile app with basic functionality. And then there's, there's e-commerce where you get the ability to integrate an entire store. And then there's integration uh, potential. So if you, if you look at various ways to use these, because that's really when it comes down to it, you wanna know how to put these tools, how the, these payment tools to work. So if we look, for example, at a mobile business, let's say you're a tradesman, you're an HVAC tech, or you're out in the field, you're doing trade shows or whatever it may be, you want to have a mobile solution that'll attach to your, to your phone, iPhone and Android. Authorize.net has a app that you can download in the marketplace and put it right on your phone and get a, an attached swiping device that'll allow you to have a simple point of sale system out in the field. You use your cell phone signal and you're good to go. You can get the account set up and process as many payments as you need to. It also has a retail component. So if you're in a store, you have a checkout line, you have a, a physical location, you can pull up the point of sale system on a tablet or a, uh, a desktop computer and attach a card swiper or a, a piece of hardware and use it as a retail device too. And there's a lot of other options too. So there's integrations and there's simple standalone solutions that are, that are offered, uh, as I always refer to, off the shelf or out of the box that you can use Authorize.net that way. So a lot of people know Authorize.net very well because of how it plays with other software, how it integrates or how it connects. It's listed on lots of websites as uh, under the integrations tab. And if you're integrating into an accounting software or a CRM or you know any bookkeeping software, a specialized industry point of sale or CRM system, Authorize.net is often one of those payment gateways that will give you an integration for that payment component of it. So if you're running your business with, again, a specific CRM or cash register system, obviously you're gonna need a payment component and where the, lands where the payments landscape is right now being everything is integrated and often all in one, 
you want to have that ability to plug a merchant account into the point of sale system and when you make a sale it automatically registers that sale in your inventory in your crm and it tags that purchase so it's easier to manage rather than having your point of sale or, or your crm and your management software over here and the payment over here when they're integrated they're all in one they're together and it, it makes it a lot easier to reconcile. So authorize.net has a ton of integrations. I don't know if they officially post it anywhere on their website, they may. I'm sure they have tens of thousands of different softwares that they have integrated with and their customer support provides those integrations so that independent web development companies, software engineers and so forth can all take the authorize.net API code and plug it into a unique piece of software uh, or CRM tool and use the, the gateway that way. So there's encryption available, that it's, it's secure, it's a solid solution from that standpoint, but that partner network is really what makes authorize.net really useful and what draws a lot of people to using the solution. The partners tab is listed right on their website and you can actually go in there and search by solution. There's an accounting tab and there's uh, retail online and, and different uh, ways that your business would accept so you can select and sort based on what criteria you want. So before we move on to the frequently asked questions, just a quick note about how specifically you should look at using that. The answer to that is gonna be uh, by determining what's right for you and there's three categories, online, retail, or mobile. Those are the big broad categories and under online would be invoicing and virtual terminal usage, phone sales, uh, hosted payment pages and things like that, uh, in addition to invoicing, e-checks and things like that. So determine what's your interaction with your customers. How are you billing for your services? Are you standing physically right in front of your customers where you can take the card from them or are you sending out invoices and letting the customer initiate that payment back to you? You know, is it right there on the spot or do you have an accounts receivable that you extend to your, your customers? That determines first what solution is going to be best to use in this case with Authorize.net. So do you want to use the simple checkout links? Do you want to use the virtual terminal, the recurring billing plans? That first determines the way that you should use it and how you should use it. If you have further questions about that, you can scroll down and check the links in the description. I do open up my calendar to do consultations and I can walk you through all of those questions and, and uh, you know, help you to what, whatever's gonna be right for your company. So check the links in the description. All right, so a couple of commonly asked questions about Authorize.net include, is it a worldwide solution? And right on their website, they, they say, as long as your business is located in the United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Europe, or Australia, you can accept international payments uh, and, and set up the account that way. So it does depend on where you're geographically located and where your business is actually located and originated as to whether Authorize.net will work for your company. Is Authorize.net a payment gateway or a processor? Well, it's not a, a processor if you're using the gateway only solution. The, the answer, the, the short answer is it's both. If you're using the gateway only solution, as I talked about, it's just a gateway and it's not a processor in that case. You would need to set up with First Data, Fiserv, WorldPay, Elevon, one of the processors or one of the, the companies that would provide you with a, a merchant account and then connect it to Authorize.net. Or, um, it, it, you know, uh, you would utilize the all-in-one solution as we talked about with, with Authorize.net and that's where it would sort of act as the processor as well because they have that re relationship already set up for you. And finally, a note about cost. Is Authorize.net free? What is the cost to it? There's a lot of questions that surround the cost. So that depends on the services that you're using and the relationship with the company that is helping you set up the Authorize.net account. So first off, it's not free unless you set up the, the gateway that is, unless you set up a merchant account and use their processing services. Then they would extend the gateway services to you most likely. There's some uh, free functionality that they would give you, but you're, you're using their service to process cards. So uh, it's not technically free, but it comes included with their, with their payment services. They also offer a flat rate pricing program and I'll do other videos and dig into the, the pricing of merchant accounts 
specific to authorize.net and there's additional videos on, on merchant account pricing that I'll, I'll post in the uh, description of this video. But generally, uh, if you're using the all-in-one solution for authorize.net, it is uh, a flat rate program, roughly high twos. I think they've posted 2.9 and 30 cents. So it's very similar and in line with the stripes and the squares of the world and PayPal. Uh, with that flat rate pricing. And then if you have a merchant account solution where you have your own relationship there and you're just using it as a gateway, generally it's just gonna be a flat fee of on, on average 10 to 20, maybe 25 bucks a month and a transaction fee that could range anywhere from, you know, eight, seven, eight cents up to 15 cents. Again, depending on the relationship that you have with the provider that's setting it up. So this Authorize.net video is a high level overview. It's an introduction. It's the start of a series of videos that I'll do on pricing, uh, integrations, functions, how to use it, you know, specific use cases. And I'll be posting those videos in a playlist and linking them accordingly. So if you found this video helpful uh, and you're looking at, at Authorize.net, again, check the links in the description for uh, additional resources that I have down there and even you can uh, schedule a call with us. Thanks for watching, hit the subscribe button, like the video, share it with your friends, share it with your colleagues, other businesses that you think might be able to use this information. Uh, again, when you share and like these videos, it, it helps the videos get found so other people can get this information too. So I appreciate you watching. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.